reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valid student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on the practice using the laws of logarithms. And in this is a question that is given, is taken from a previous question paper, which say you must simplify the following expression. So if I can write that, you need to simplify. So now, if you are to simplify the, the, the given expression, now what is it that you need to be careful of? Uh, or what is it that you must always take note of? So you are given that question, it's usually around four marks in your mathematics entry. But now you need to be uh, having a good understanding of your laws of logarithm. Now let me bring one of the laws that is very important in this particular uh, section of the uh, in this particular question we have got the, if you remember we have got a law which says log in base of a of b is same as if i want to change this a of b into a new log which is log base of c it to be log base of c of b over and i always uh, like to say this is same as you're having a over b it's like there is an invisible division sign in there which is not the case though um it's just a way of remembering so you're going to say now log base of um in base of c of b over log in base of c of a so the division part i was talking about is over so that the b is on top and the a is below so if you want to if you are to use um this particular law into this particular question now the question is how can you incorporate it you can incorporate it by either changing the base 2 into a base x which is the new base or the base x into the base 2 why am i saying that you are given a log with base 2 of x and a log in base x, x of 8 so one of these expressions, you either have to turn it into the similar base, either you are going to turn everything into base 2 or into base x. Now, let's change everything into base 2. Let's fo focus on base 2. So if you want everything to be in base 2, it doesn't change the first one because already it's in base 2. So you have got log base 2 of x times. Now, the most important thing is to turn log base x of 8 into base 2 so using the same law as i said it's uh like we have got an invisible division sign there so i think you can see it coming you want to turn it into a base 2 you are going to have log in base 2 the 8 is on top over log in base 2 and the x is below i think you can see that and then with that it simplifies further to become log in base 2 of x times now the interesting part that you are now having is if you can look carefully is our 8 here now what is our 8 8 is same as 2 to the power of 3 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 so you are going to rewrite that in this case as log in base of 2 of 2 to the power of 3 all over log in base of 2 of x again there is a law that can be applicable into this expression we can use a law and then what is that law remember it says log if i can uh, apply that law in particular it says log in base of a x to the power n is equal to in this case the n drops before the log it will be n log in base of a of x so in this case the 3 that were given here 
will also come and drop before the log so what will our expression look like if i can create more space here our expression then will look like this it will be log i think i don't have enough space there it will be log two of x times now i'm dropping my three to become log base 2 of 2 over log base 2 of x. Again, if I can apply another law in this space, what we have, it says, if you remember, log base a of a. So if the base and the number are equal or are the same, you put a 1. So in this case, this becomes log base 2 of 2 is a 1. So in, in, in actual fact, now you are having equal to log base 2 of x times 3 into 1 over log base 2 of x. So in actual fact, log base 2 of x is same as over 1. So you can now see that you can cancel log base 2 of x with log base 2 of x. So what you are left with is um, 1 times 3. You can create some space again. What you are actually left with now is you are left with 1 times 3 over 1 and the answer simple there you can see that you are going to get an answer of 3 so this is a way or this is how you can solve uh, given problems if you still remember we started with uh, I can erase we started with log base 2 of x times log base x of 8 it doesn't matter if you wanted to change everything into base x instead of base 2, you could also have at the end gotten the answer of 3. Now, this is how you can use different laws. In this case, you saw that we used, if I can check, we used, I think, um, three different laws. We used the first law here. This was law number 1. We used a second law here in this case. And we used a third law here. In this case so we used three laws for us to simplify this given expression so it is uh, whereby you combine different laws for your advantage again there are many ways how you can solve uh, questions which in involve laws of logarithms but this is one of the simplest ways you could have gotten through to the answer we have come to the end of our lesson check again more questions or more solutions or more lessons on the laws of logarithms for my dreams I reach out for my vision I reach out for help that I thought I needed Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of